So I had, yeah, that was that my for sale post right there, 8,500 bucks. Yeah. And I ended up selling to that to my buddy. Dude, 2015. Oh, this was February 21, 2016, sorry. Okay. Yeah, and it says, if you ever get a chance to own a Crown Athlete as a daily, I highly recommend them. Fast, comfortable, quiet, low key, fuel efficient, reasonably sporty, and if you get the wagon, extremely practical. Can't confirm. <laughs> but then you get the blit and it's sportier, so. Uh, it's a new shift knob that we're working on. I can show you. So that's the 3D printed version and we're gonna have a uh, cool looking gel dome cap, their dome stickers on top of there. And I don't know what it's gonna be called, but you can see what it's gonna look like. There's two versions, one's a small and one's a large. Dude, I, when I went to my first drift event, uh, I got one of those Burger King crowns and I scratched out burger with like a sharpie and wrote drift and i like wore that around in the pits at the, like the first drift event i was ever at drift like, king yeah i was uh, i thought i was the shit gerard has considerably bigger hands than i do so he's like i kind of want one that's a bit, a bit bigger but all the other guys seem to think the size is perfect so i want to change up the look so i was like well maybe i'll do like some sort of like center bolt thing and it'll be polished to kind of like you know bbs's and stuff it'll be like five millimeters down it'll dive back in and then it'll have the coin in the center so it'll just look like a thin kind of like nut and then just have like the garnish in the center this is a one-off center cap there's only one other person in the world that has these caps for bail sites and then nobody currently is going to have this with this so it's always one of one sick so I sold that crown to my buddy a long time ago and him and his family have enjoyed it for six years or something. Yeah, and that whole icy black ice snowstorm that we had slid into a bus. He's upgrading to an M35 Stasia. He couldn't get rid of the crown, so, so I like bought it back. So it should, it should be coming pretty quick here and we'll uh, get to take a look at it. And I haven't seen it for a while. I don't know what condition it's in and also I don't know the extent of the damage and we have zero room for it. Yeah. But uh, it was a good deal. I mean, it is fixable. So like I said, I'll have to take a look at it. It's been, you know, six years with a family of two kids. I don't know. Yeah, it still has like pro drive wheels. He just like, so he's filming. He's like hit him and he's filming. You can just wait like two seconds, whatever. That's all right, Joey, how's it going? Uh, everything go okay with the car? Okay, cool. Yeah, just let me know if you have any issues. It is lowered a bit. Yeah, you have a flat deck, right? Or you don't have a flat deck. Okay, that's fine, yeah. All right, cool. Just be careful with the uh, body kit, thanks. All right, okay, bye. Uh, it's kind of sad. I don't know. I was hoping that it was at least like kind of savable maybe, but it's, it's it's pretty messed. So yeah, it's like hit on both sides. The lips gone far out, I think. So yeah, it's just, it's too much work to like try to get it. Oh. So I'll just take it for some good parts and hopefully other people can, I don't know, reap the rewards of a nice crown. At one point it was nice. One Jay-Z. Headlight. Perfect. Thank you. There you go. Oh. Let's go. We definitely we yank it out. Thanks for checking out the video this week. Uh, don't forget to check out our website for some dope ass merch like this one and the Serial Night hoodie. And we'll see you next week.